Obviously, they're bouncing off the wall, they're full of cake and Coca-Cola, and they're not paying attention. Well, instead of shooting one shot, set up your tripod, put the camera down, and shoot, 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 and shoot. Just shoot a lot of them. Eventually, everybody's face is going to be looking, and their eyes are going to be open. Say, thank you very much, kids. Go have fun. Now you've got all these wonderful photos. What do you do with them? Now, let me show you an example here. These two guys are looking at the camera, and he's not, and then he's looking, and they're not, and they're looking, and they're, oh, for crying out loud, can I get everybody to look at the camera? Well, we have something called Photo Merge Group Shop, brand new in Photoshop Element 6. This is built on the Photo Merge technology we introduced in Photoshop CS3, except this one includes bonafide magic. Honestly, it does. You're going to freak out when you see this. This is as close to magic as I've ever seen. So, how do I get these two pictures into Photoshop Element 6? I'm in Bridge. How do I go from there to there? Well, that's what your tools menu is for. When you install Photoshop Element 6, it installs special scripts right in here. So all you have to do is choose up to 10 photos and choose Photo Merge Group Shop. Okay? Follow me? That's not hard. Open it up. And it's comparing the images before it even shows me anything. The most in important step is what just happened. Notice how my I've got a little bit of a checkerboard pattern on the top of that left-hand image. It skewed the image a little bit. Why did it do that? It did that because the person that was taking the photograph moved. They moved a little bit. So when Photoshop is bringing in two photos, or up to ten, it compares the pixels of both images at a sub-pixel level. It compares both images and then distorts them a little bit so they match perfectly. That's the hard work. That's done. So, how do we do this? Remember, guided editing guides us. So it tells us right here, find the best shot and put it in the right-hand side. And then click the other photos with the pencil tool. So this is the best shot right here. I'll drag that over there. Over here on the left, I'll click at the bottom. I want to get this guy here over to there, right? Now, how many people would mask that person out? They would bring it over and then they would draw a mask around the hair. How many people would work hard and do that? How many people don't care about doing that? They want it easy. That should, be the, that should even be the Photoshop users. I don't even care if you bill for your work. Buy a copy of Photoshop Element 6 and do this and then tell the customer, man, that was a hard job. I had to go around the hair. Watch how easy this is. Remember, the hardest part of this is done, the alignment. Now all you do is take the pencil tool. Everybody hold on to their seats. You draw a line on what you want to put in the second image. And I told you it was magic. Done. Give it a yeah. Come on. Let's go. Photoshop. Come on.